So a lot of students enroll in this course not really knowing what a recommender system is, and sometimes they have uh, the wrong expectations about what we're going to cover here. So let's talk about what exactly is a recommender system. And before we do that, I think we need to start by talking about what a recommender system is not. So a recommender system is not a system that just recommends arbitrary values for some arbitrary problem. That's not what it's all about, so don't read too much into the name of it. A recommender system is a very specific kind of machine learning system. But systems that just recommend values for arbitrary problems, that describes machine learning in general. That's not really a recommender system per se. So the terminology can be a little bit confusing there. For example, if you're looking for a system that quote unquote recommends prices for a house based on how big it is and the neighbors and all that, that's not a recommender system. That's a machine learning system. If you want a system that quote unquote recommends whether a transaction is fraudulent, again, that's not a recommender system. That's just a machine learning problem more generally. And for problems like that, you're going to be applying techniques like regression or deep learning, or these days XGBoost is really popular, and there's many other techniques as well. But recommender systems are a very specific thing. They're not this general purpose algorithm that can recommend a solution to any given problem. You, you can't think of it that broadly. If you're looking for something like that, you're going to want to go and take a more general machine learning course. This one is very specialized for what we call recommender systems. So what is a recommender system? Well, more specifically, it's a system that predicts ratings or preferences that a user might give to an item. So a recommender system is recommending things to people based on their past behavior and the behavior of other people. Okay, so it's really about recommending stuff to people based on their, uh, their preferences that we learn over time. Now, often these will be sorted and presented as what we call top end recommendations. So we're not necessarily recommending a specific rating or preference for an item. We might just be recommending a list of items that somebody might like. These are also known as recommender engines, recommendation systems, and recommendation platforms. It's all the same thing. So to make it real, this is what a recommender engine in the sense of this course looks like. If you go to amazon.com, you'll see a bunch of widgets like this where they're recommending products based on other things that you've looked at in the past or interacted with, and also blending in information from all the other customers on amazon.com as well. So a recommender system is trying to recommend stuff to you. It doesn't have to necessarily be physical objects. It could also be content. It could be music. It could be videos, right? So if you go to Netflix, um, they're recommending movies to you based on your past preferences and the preferences of other people. Uh, you can recommend people in a dating application. You can recommend music in a music playing application. So let's dive more into what some more specific types of recommender systems are out there now that we've sort of cleared up what they are not.